Greetings, fellow interloper. It's Taylor. So my inbox has been piling up with messages from all over the No Man's Sky universe about freighters. So it's the perfect time for a little FAQ about our favorite mobile bases. I arranged these in order of player experience, so the further along we go, the odds go up that you might just learn something you didn't know before. First up is a question from Carl in the Hilbert Dimension. Carl asks, What's the best way to get an S-Class freighter? Oh man, if I had a dollar for every time I've seen this question asked. So let's go over the basics real quick about how you get a freighter in the first place. As most of you know, whenever you come across a freighter that's under attack, it's known as a freighter battle. These happen every three hours of gameplay, and a minimum of five warps. Once you dispatch the pirates, and providing you didn't accidentally shoot the freighter in the process of your battle, you'll get an invite up to the bridge to have a little chat with the captain. But the nice thing is once you land on the freighter and exit your ship, you can use your analysis visor to see what class it is and save yourself the bridge visit. Once you find it's not an S-Class, and let's face it, the odds are it probably isn't, you can reload your save, go through another battle, land on the freighter again, and rinse repeat until you eventually get an S-Class. To ask how long this would take would be like asking how long it would take to win $1,000 from a slot machine in a casino. Sure, you could do it on your first pull, but odds are it would take a very long time. Fortunately, it's free to play when you're hunting for an S-Class freighter. The economy rating of a system determines the probability of the class of freighter you'll come across. So to maximize your chances of finding an S-Class freighter, you stand the best chance in a rich Tier 3 system. As I mentioned in my Galaxy Map tutorial video, it's easy to spot on a Galaxy Map by noting how many stars are next to the economy section. It can be one of the grindiest things in the game, and if you're not ready to put the time in, I'd highly recommend enjoying a nice A-Class and using all the time you get back to read a good book or knit your mom a sweater or watch all the movies in the MCU. Yeah, but I mean, this Thanos we're talking about, he's the toughest there is. <laughs> well, he's never fought me. Yeah, he has. He's never fought me twice. Next up is a question from Ernie, who hails from the Isentom galaxy. Can you explain how to get started with running expeditions from your freighter and what the various frigates you can get are? Thanks for the question, Ernie. You bet. After you've got a little money in the bank and you're ready to start assembling your fleet, you're going to have the option to buy different types of frigates. Frigates are easy enough to find because they actually find you. Once you warp into a new system, it's pretty normal to hear another fleet warp in shortly after. Any frigate that's for sale is marked by a green icon. And once approached, you'll get an interaction to browse the frigate and purchase if you so desire. So one thing I'll get out of the way is that I don't buy support frigates. Their main function is to provide a fuel savings to your fleet, but since fuel is extremely easy to come by, I'd rather have an extra frigate that I can send out. With support frigates out of the picture, that leaves four other frigates worthy of investment. Combat, Exploration, Industrial, and Trade. It's beneficial to have all of these eventually as you'll need them to run expeditions that specifically call for these types. Obviously, the balanced expeditions are the ones you can mix and match various types to be as efficient as possible. You've probably noticed that frigates have classes just like ships. The higher the class, the higher the price tag, and generally the higher the starting stats in their main category. Higher stats equate to more loot when they arrive back from an expedition. So many look for A and S class frigates only, but not me. An often overlooked feature of frigates is that they actually move up in class the more expeditions you send them out on. So between this and the money you shell out for an A and S class, I will nearly always go with a C class and just level it up. While we're talking about levels, you can see that each expedition has its own difficulty rating. When you start assembling your fleet, you'll need to make sure that your fleet rating exceeds the difficulty rating by at least one star. If it doesn't, you'll most likely be in the middle of doing something else and get a communication alert letting you know that one of your frigates has been damaged, at which point you can either tell it to come back or insist it finish out their mission, which usually results in a total loss of the frigate. So here, we'll select the Voyage of Discovery, 
which requires exploration frigates. Since this is a two-star difficulty rating, we'll make sure to build at least a three-star fleet rating to send it off. As you can see, I've had this fleet for a while and nearly everyone has been leveled up to S-Class status. Keep in mind that a lot of these, if not most of them, started as a C-Class. Depending on the length of the time the expedition takes, you'll get a notification that the fleet is returning back to your freighter. At this point, you can then visit the command room associated with that particular expedition and debrief the captain. You'll know the expedition is over when the ship on the monitor turns from a cyan to more of a green color. There'll be a log to read through after you're done. You will then have all the loot transferred to your freighter's inventory. And that's pretty much it. Just remember to buy a variety of frigates so you can take full advantage of all the possible expeditions your navigator finds for you. And when assembling your fleet, always stay one star above the difficulty rating or you will find yourself having to fix a damaged frigate. And speaking of damaged frigates, our next question comes from Corporal Abdima from the Calypso Galaxy. He asks how you go about fixing a damaged frigate. Well, this is super easy, but a very important question to answer. When you have a damaged frigate returned to the fleet, you actually need to fly out of your freighter and survey your fleet, you know, the big clump of ships that trail behind you. It shouldn't take long before you see one of your frigates that has a red icon next to it, indicating that it's damaged. To fix it, simply land on it and the captain will highlight the damaged areas. From here, it's just a matter of tracking down all the icons and fixing them. It's pretty easy, but usually requires simple materials like silver to fix. Alright, our final question comes from Jimmy in Euclid. Jimmy asks, how can we upgrade our storage on our freighter? So I did an earlier video about how to obtain the horrific helmet, and in that video I go through derelict freighter missions. Check out that if you're unfamiliar with derelict freighters. But the short answer is, at the very end of any derelict freighter mission, you'll encounter an engineering terminal that gives you a choice of either obtaining a freighter bulkhead, which is a storage augmentation for your freighter, or you can craft a mod that helps your fleet be more efficient when running expeditions. Hopefully these FAQs have helped you understand a little bit more about how to best set up your fleet to run expeditions. Once you have your fleet set up, it's a great way to make some extra money while you're off doing other things. And as always, if you still have questions about anything, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching guys. This is Taylor with Whiskey Barrel Gaming, signing off.